that it's time to go to pardon the tear. So uh, sorry to cut that short, but uh, Kirk, you get to kick us off. Yeah, I get the first question here. So let me start my clock. So do you guys like numbered sequels? interesting name sequels or a combination of both and what i mean by that is evil dead 2 or evil dead rise or evil dead 2 rise or something along them lines that's the combination so jay i'll let you take this one first okay uh you know it, it, that's a good question neither one really bothered me um if if i was to take one over the other i, I like the number with the like description type thing, like Halloween four, the return of Michael Myers, Halloween five, the revenge of Michael Myers. I I, I don't know. I, I just have always been a big fan of that. You know, it kind of like makes you a little bit more excited when you go to see a movie because you kind of have like this, you know, synopsis playing in your head of what possibly could be coming through this movie. I don't know. What do you think, Mike? I, <laughs> so when I was, First read this question, I thought it was a really weird question, and then I started thinking about it, and I'm like, it's not bad. I I guess when I try to think of like all the older movies, I can't imagine them another way. Like I can't imagine Halloween two, the return of Michael Myers. You know what I mean? Like it's Halloween two. Like it's just got to be Halloween two. But then if you went to like Halloween four, right? Like I can't imagine it just being Halloween four. So uh, I I think. I think I'm a mixture of everything. I don't think it matters to me as long as the movie's good. But I think if it was like a going forward thing, I like the name off of it. I like Evil Dead Rise, you know, like yeah. instead of it just being Evil Dead 4.5. I don't know what they right. would actually name that one. Because um, it also, it makes it where like timelines don't matter. So you can, you know, as long as you give it a name of something, it, it doesn't. It doesn't even like the Rob Zombie Halloweens were prefaced with Rob Zombie Halloween. You know what I mean? Like they just put it in front of the mm-hmm. the name. Yeah, it's just like you got your uh, what Jason goes to hell the final Friday. Then you got uh, you know um, Freddy goes to or Freddy Freddy's dead the final nightmare things like that. I, I like how they do that. You know they kind of change it around, give you a different kind of um, vision. Yeah, but imagine if they didn't do that. Think of like the new Friday the Thirteenth. When I say new, it came out in two thousand nine, right? But the new Friday the Thirteenth, like, what would they have named it? You know, like Friday the Thirteenth Part Thirteen? No, because no. it's a discontinuation. I don't know, Kirk. What do you think? Yeah, so I think you brought up a really good point, Mike. Timeline. So if it doesn't fit into a timeline, I think a name is fine. Like Evil Dead Rises works, but I like the numbers. So for example, uh, Halloween. Halloween 2, Halloween 3, blah, blah, blah. But then you re-scrub the timeline, and now we call it Halloween 1, Halloween 2018, Halloween Kills. It just kind of muddies the water of the order. I wish it would have been Halloween. Then the 2018 one should have been some type of Halloween 2, so we can follow through with the timeline. I like like numbers, but you brought up a good point with the timeline. Oh, perfect.